remember those? Yeah. We are so close, yet still so far away from installing them. The windows that I made, the gable and windows, oh, are at home still. I'm at home. Today is Friday. I am two days away from having to make a video for Sunday. I don't have anything going yet. Well, I do, just nothing to do with the cabin or anything. So I'm hoping I'm gonna go out there right now. It's like 10.45 a.m. and I am going to prepare my window rough openings for those. That feels like a two-person job. Uh, I have thought about it and I've done a lot of things by myself. I think I could manage to do it by myself, but the time it would take me would just be too long and the risk of them breaking is high. So I have to wait for Steve to help me. Plus I'm not even ready for them. Like I said, I need to prepare the rough openings for them. And that is what I'm gonna do today. I picked up some more foam, so I'll finish the foam insulation. And we're staying the night in the main cabin. But I gotta measure these first. I wanna take some measurements. I need to measure them to make sure because I need to beef up the inside of the rough opening because I messed up when I measured for these windows. I'm kicking myself now and I'll explain when we're out there why I what I did wrong, what I should have done. I've explained this before, but that was a, a while ago. I actually think I have to uh, open up the height a bit more. As Matt Reisinger says, oh, let's get going. Obviously the purpose of the lockers is not only to add, you know, like a rustic charm, it's for storage because this isn't going to have any closets or anything. So I will put whatever, kitchen things in here, extra linens for guests, towels, could put boots and stuff, whatever. Right now I just kind of started to try to keep some tools and all the things in there. Oh, and the nuts for my friends. One of the other things that some of you have probably noticed, a few of you have mentioned, is that you saw the wood stove. I have a wood stove installed and I didn't share it so you didn't miss anything. It was done back in May. My friend Bruce came to help me for a day get it installed during the winter driving. So it took us four hours of driving, like four hours of travel to get here. He gave me an eight hour day so we had four hours of work to do and it was cold. We were rush we were just trying to get the job done i didn't get the best filming done on that because i for forgot extra batteries for the camera too so the camera died i was trying to just manage a little bit of battery on the camera with my phone plus just trying to get the job done and we literally threw everything into the cabin and ran to leave and i never shared it because it just the footage wasn't great and i wasn't able it ne never felt complete to me and completion feels like I'll share the story when I can have a fire and light it and make it feel like a complete video. I can't get it to draft properly until the cabin is closed in, which requires those big gable end windows to be put in. So uh, I will share how it all went, the little bit of footage that I got, and then hopefully the next thing after I get the windows in is to get this fire safe because then I can come out here in the winter and work. If I have a closed in structure with heat, I can, I feel like I could do anything out here. Um, I could work on siding, I could work on, I don't even mind, like I don't mind working outside in the cold, as long as I have somewhere warm and dry to come into at the end of the day, that's all that I really need. So the windows and the wood stove are the two priorities that I need to work on before Steve and I go back to the boat in Taiwan. And that is not that far away. I'd like to get the flooring in. I'd like to, yeah, so many things to get done.
stars and the city lights Right from the start said we never grow apart till we cheat out You wanted me to know, never ever let you go till we cheat out Surrounded by colors, it's such a sight Watching all the lovers fall into the night cheeks they're full you go come on you're a little piggy oh it's more to this than what you see you know this town's got the best of me to fix my rough openings for those windows at this point. And basically what I ended up doing, this is basically the way the opening looks. And what I should have done was cut this off, built this up. This is the five by five beam right here. I should have cut this off, blocked this in, and then measured for this triangle shape. But what I didn't do that. I went like this instead. So I have to block out that section. Okay, you guys, it's uh, the deal is, is that from here. <laughs> my friend here to up in there. I don't have enough room and I kind of knew I had exactly 61 and a half inches and that's exactly the, the size of the window. So I have to get up there and chip away at the rafter, those big cedar rafters and allow for a little bit more room just to get that just to get the tip of the window. It is what it is. Uh, it has to be done. It's just a bit of a pain because I have to get up there safely to use some sort of tool. And I don't even know what I would use at this point. Um, I think I got to put the scaffolding back on the inside, kind of, I guess, how I used before was just a board. You are a little monkey. Can I even use chainsaw, but I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to set up some scaffolding, I guess. And it's about just about four o'clock. I'm going to stay here for another hour and a half and then go. I was just thinking I'd thought 
before as well when I was making the windows because it's the way the wood comes up. It's not the glass itself. It's the way I framed it. I could take a little bit off of that top, I, which might give me the space I need, like half an inch, if I could take half an inch off. Maybe a little bit of both will have to happen. Holy shit, this thing's heavy. Okay, well, at least it's up there. Play around. Hot tub would be nice. I don't want to take my chainsaw up there. That's a little too dangerous, I feel like. I mean, it doesn't need to look pretty. I just need that little bit of space right here. I think that should do. It's just about time to go. It takes me a bit to get, yeah, it's a little after five. It takes me a bit to get out here and down, drive down there. But I just wanted to cut this one piece uh, the angle piece going from the, the top ridge beam down to the side beam. And if I can just kind of get my head around this a little bit, then I'm good to go. And I'll just quickly pack up, <sighs> leave it longer just in case. I only have so much of this wood. Whoa, don't do that. Imagine. That's how it's going to have to go. Like that. Oh. So it's going to kind of be that's what my rough opening is going to look like. Time to go down to the cabin, the other cabin. going good it's 6 30 and it's uh like 10 degrees outside pretty calm lots of stink bugs let's see oh it's warmer 12 degrees should i uh go for a dip 
be freaking rude if I didn't. One of the reasons why I wanted to come down to this cabin and stay the night is because I wanted to do a couple things and grab a couple things. I would wanted to spray with this uh, insecticide because the stink bugs are a constant problem here. And I wanted to grab some boards and some rocks. This part of the property getting down to this cabin isn't accessible by vehicle in the wintertime. I want to get some things by vehicle before I can't. And unfortunately, I have to. I had to park outside our own gate because Steve had the key in his truck and he went to work early yesterday morning and we forgot to switch the key from his truck to my truck. I have been collecting these rocks uh, and had them sitting here for a few years now. And they're just rocks from the shoreline. They're flat, they're like tiles. And I've just been collecting them. Every time I see a good one, I pick it up and bring it here and it's kind of sat here. I was going to do something in the main cabin with them, like in the master bedroom, something along the wall, but that's a big job. So I'm not sure. Anyway, what I wanted to do was take some because I think this is what I'm going to use for behind the wood stove. I did this in the outhouse and I think it looks really cool. already turned into a work truck. <gasps> Toilet paper? Like that. Time for this job now. Job done, time to go. Gotta look good for the chipmunks. Okay, it's 11.30. I just got down here a few minutes ago and I don't have a super long time because I gotta get home and somehow put this video together for tomorrow morning.
big thing I'm making sure is that trying to make sure of is that I don't make this opening too small because then I would have to redo it. sharing hair love-hate relationship and it will go like this up to here and then blocking in between is spectacular. You know what was really funny? Not funny, but I was feeding him and then a big raven went by. So then I started talking with the raven. I know it's like a crow, but anyway. And then my chipmunk friend, the one that crawls on me, let's call him Johnny. So it's Johnny Cash in June, although I've really only seen the one the last couple days. But um, then all of a sudden he got really scared and was hiding underneath the tarp. Cause of course birds are predators to them. Anyway, I, got that done you guys. I literally had to stop filming because it was just too hard to film and do the work. It was as awkward as anything. It was so hard and I actually tried to time lapse it and then the camera fell over. So I said, you know what? Like it almost fell down the cliff. I was like, I am just gonna get the work done and it's almost time to go. I have, it's like 3.30 and I need to go because I have to edit this video tonight. But I'm just gonna put the blue skin, I sprayed that bottom part. So I'll get that up. Yeah, it's not pretty, but I think it'll work. I think that was probably one of the most awkward jobs of this whole build. Cause I had to only, yeah. You couldn't have two hands like wrapped around like that. It was just so awkward. I do have a discrepancy in the depth like I kind of knew I would because I didn't add the sheathing layer to the to the posts and those two rafters so the foam is set back a bit but I'm just gonna whatever who cares not worry about it at this point oh I should probably measure this first up. I've packed up. I'm about to walk away and I 
feel like. I feel like I need some prayers. If those windows don't fit, I probably will cry. 